Carissa's life fell apart after she and her husband moved in with a man named Josh. In a matter of weeks, Michael and Josh began having an affair. Oh. Carissa was shocked, but here's where this story takes a dark twist. You see, in a few weeks later, Carissa's three-month-old daughter mysteriously died. Oh. Now Carissa believes that Josh caused the death of her daughter because he was in love with her husband. Kind of a crazy story, huh? Yes. What happened the day your daughter died? One of my friends had came over, and me and my friend, you know, we played with her and stuff, and she had to leave. Well, then I was feeling tired and stuff, so I laid her in a bassinet, and I went to sleep. Michael was already asleep on the couch. Well, the next thing I know, a few hours later, Josh woke me up saying that there was something wrong with my daughter. And the reason that I woke up was because I felt like there was a presence over me, like weird and creepy, and it was him. It was Josh? Yes. And I told him to call 911 when I felt her, and she was so cold. She was cold, she had a bruise on the back of her head. The cops said that was from losing bl the blood's not flowing or whatever. <sighs> and then jo uh, Michael came in there and gave her, tried to give her CPR. And the cops got there and said that we needed to go to the hospital and meet her there. And we did, and when we got there, she was gone. The cops started questioning Josh and everybody, trying to figure out what happened. And I swear, I feel like Josh had something to do with her death. Why would Josh want to do something to a little baby? That I'm thinking is because he was jealous over that I had Michael and that he wanted him all to himself. What was her cause of death? What was your daughter's cause of death? Um, that someone rolled on her. Right. And then there was contusion to her left side of her head and there was caffeine in her system. Any idea how caffeine got into her system? No, I do not. A three-month-old baby. Um, what do you think happened to her? I think Josh killed her because of the fact that Michael wouldn't leave me. What I don't understand, did you go to your husband and say, Josh is interested in you, he's bisexual? Yeah, actually, I did. Why did you do that? I don't know. I wasn't thinking at that time. Because then the three of you all started having sex together, right? Yeah. Was it odd to you to watch your husband have sex with another man? Yeah, it hurt me. It did. But you, you kind of opened the door there. I know. I thought that when I told Michael that he liked you and that, I thought it was you know, a laughing matter, like he was going to laugh about it, which he did. I didn't think he was going to go and be with them. Right. So the first time, how did it come about that you, the three of you, or how did it come that anybody started sleeping with anybody? How did that happen? Okay. Um, one day, I had put Jasmine asleep, and I was tired. So I laid down, and Josh and Michael was laying there, and they were just talking and stuff. Laying where? Laying on the bed. Okay. And... I put her in her bassinet in her bed, and we were all just laying there, and I went to sleep. Well, then I felt like this, the bed was moving. I was like, what the hell is going on? And I woke up, and there they were. They were doing that right next to me. And I threw a fit. They were doing what? Having sex right there by me. And I got up, and I threw a fit, told Michael that I was going to take my daughter and leave him. They were cheating right in front of you? Yeah. I was like, I didn't even know that you all were together. And what did they say? He's like, oh, I know. We've been together for a couple weeks now. I was like, really? Did you ever think that your husband was attracted to men? No, I didn't. But then you start having sex with Josh. Yeah. <laughs> OK. How did, because how did, you had to be furious when you saw your husband having sex mm -hmm. with him. How did you end up having sex with him? Because Michael told me that if I don't be with Josh, then he was going to leave me. And I loved Michael at that time. I did. And so you had sex with Josh? Yeah. Was your husband involved or? Yeah. Hmm. 
How long did this go on, this, relation, this three-way relationship? They were on and off for years. For years? For years. They got together when we got married afterwards. Right. And it still goes on. How long ago did your daughter pass away? Three years ago. Okay. And so after, even after your daughter died, Michael was having sex with Josh. Yes. But you guys split up. Yes. And why did you guys split up? Because of her death. Her death. I really think that he did something to her. Right. Now, you told my producers that you believe that Josh may have drugged you that day. Yes. And why do you believe that? Because I was so drained. It was hard for me to open my eyes that day. Yeah. Did you do drugs that day? No. Did you drink? No. I'm not a drinker. I don't like do, do you do drugs? No. Did you at the time? No. So you didn't take any drugs that day? No. All right, we're gonna meet your ex-husband, Michael. Let's bring him up. You didn't have a problem with Josh when you had your Carissa? Every time you two were together. No, Josh didn't do it. But when you two ain't together, it's a whole different ball game now, isn't it? Did no, she have sex with Josh after your daughter died? Yes. Yes, I did. No, did she? Oh, yeah. Many, many times. You had sex with Josh after your daughter died? No, I have not, Michael. Really? Really? You really want to go there? Really? Yeah, I really want to know. Did, did you go there? I'll let you know everything from no, day I one. Did, she, did you have sex with Josh after your daughter died? No, I did not. Never? No, I didn't. Why is he saying that? So you didn't have sex with Josh at his house? And I didn't wake up to, since you know you want to throw those kind of things in people's faces. How about we flip this all around? I'm the one that woke up and seen you having sex with Josh. That's a me. lie, Michael. Honest to God, you didn't see a problem with this? Sometimes they showed each other a lot more love than she sh ever showed me. Right. And it started getting on my nerves and it started making me really mad. Yeah. And, and what about him? Who was he showing more attention to, her or you? She's, he started showing more love towards her too. And for a minute there, I wanted to call it off with both of them. I wanted to divorce her and I wanted to tell him to go to hell. Let's, uh, let's bring out Josh. I am not no baby killer. Yeah, you are. No, I'm not. I didn't kill your daughter, okay? Yeah, you did. You just did. don't want to take the fact that you rolled over on her and you smothered her, okay? Shh. Get that through your head. I know you killed no, her. No, I did not. Then why well, did you well, roll well, up? Oh, hey, hey, hey. Did you love the little girl? Yes, I did. I took care of her more than her own mother did. Okay. And why do you say that? Because she never really did anything for her, especially when she was sleeping. I would get up, change her diaper. Theater. She would hear her cry and she would just lay there. No, you heard her. that she believes that maybe you killed her daughter. Yes, I understand that. Because you were and jealous. I'm not no baby killer. Were yeah, you, you were. jealous of their relationship? No, I was not. Okay. Why would you? You had both of them, right? That's right. No, I mean, <laughs> I'm not trying to be funny. Yeah, I understand. You were in a sexual relationship with her. Yeah. You were in a sexual relationship with him. And plus, she's a liar, too, because after her death, she did sleep with me. Okay. Um, does I'm anybody on stage want to be with anybody still, or no? No. No. Okay. Hell no. no. <laughs> I'm good. Michael, uh, you came here, and really nobody's questioning him. Yeah. But we gave you a lot of talk to us anyways. We asked him, did you cause your daughter's death in any way? He said no, and he told the truth. Josh, you came here and you took a lot of tech to test. And we asked you, on the day that Chris's daughter died, did you place her in Carissa's bed? And you answered no. Did you dr drug Carissa on the day her daughter died? I forgot to ask you about that. Did you drug her? No, I did not. Okay. You answered no on the lie detector test. Did you cause Chris's daughter's death? No. And you answered no. And the results for Josh's lie detector test, the results came back all the same. And it came back that Josh told the truth. Thank you. Thank you. 
I mean, only you being there yeah. and seeing how he treated your daughter, that's got to tell you something. Yeah. Chris, we asked you, did you deliberately cause your daughter's death? Did you deliberately cause your daughter's death? You said no, and you told the truth. Was your daughter in bed with you when you fell asleep prior to her death? Mm -hmm. And you said? No. And is that the truth? I'm really not sure. Yeah. Um, you answered no, and the result is that extreme wow. deception indicated. Um, and obviously you made a huge, terrible mistake. You put your daughter in bed with you when you should have probably put her in a bassinet. Yeah. And because of that, uh, your daughter's dead. Yeah. I don't believe that, you, and you passed, I don't think you have meant to kill your own child. Right. But because you weren't super careful, she's not here. No. And that's probably something you didn't want to live up to or answer because then people would maybe point the finger at you and say you did something and and it does happen it well, does what you're gonna hit me like you always do it does I had nothing to do with this okay it does happen she do you believe look at me do you believe she wanted to kill your daughter no no but i'm mad because she never just told me the truth from the get-go again does she feel the same pain you feel losing your daughter? I don't know, because I've never been able to have a family because of it. She lost her baby, too. It wasn't just her kid. I right. gave up everything. Everything I ever did was bad. I gave it up for her. And being angry at her, being mad at her, it ain't going to bring her back. No, that's why I knew she's the one who did it, but I forgave her a long time ago. And like I've always told you, I'll always love you because we have kids together and I'll always be here for you. But all I ask is why didn't you tell me? We wouldn't be going through this right now. I couldn't remember. All you had to say was just this. I think I accidentally fell asleep with her and I would have talked to you with, about it. And you know what? Possibly our marriage still would be together. But if you knew that deep down, that you would put the child in, in your bed with you, why did you keep pointing the finger at him? I thought he did. It, I really did. At no point in the last three years did you say, I know he didn't do it. I was iffy about both. I wasn't for sure if, you What's know. the greater odds? You putting the, your daughter in bed with you or him? Him killing both. her. It was both. It was. I was trying to figure That's it out. That's a pretty horrible thing to accuse somebody of, when, if you yeah. know the truth, right? Angel yeah. baby killer for the last four years. What do you want to say to him? He's lived with that for four years. I'm sorry. I really am. I, I wish so I, I could take you. it back. I forgive you, but I don't want to be friends. That's fine. And I understand. Okay, thank you. I'm sorry for everybody's loss. But I want everybody watching at home, if you're a young couple and you're married, don't invite another person into the relationship. Okay? Um, I'm sorry for your loss. Make better decisions in the future as far as your kids and the relationships that you get into. And I wish you all luck in the world. Good luck. Thank you. I called you, Steve, for help because I watch your show all the time. Somebody's going to watch this and say, you know what? She was brave enough to do that. I can do that too.